Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, crosui, salam alaikum, chesh, yakshamaj. Welcome to the channel, y'all. So today, as you just saw, Gilligan has had his hair cut yesterday. His fur is covered all over the floor and we need to vacuum it up. Now, I have been using Pure Powers for the past two videos on picking up the dog fur because I've done one dog at a time. So that I could get more use out of the different machines. And this time I have decided to go for a Pure Power that was brand new in box. NIB, new in box. And this one is it. Here it is. This is the U3120 Pure Power. It has, <coughs> excuse me. 1,200 watts maximum. It was brand new in box. It was brought to my attention by um, Alex Raw and Steve from Mad About Hoovers. Steve was the one who messaged me about it. So I put in a, so I went and bought one basically. Now, Alex Raw, now he's also bought one of these as well, brand new in box, and he's done a video on it a while ago, so go and check out his channel. And I really do like this. It was really nice to have it brand new in box. So I haven't actually used it much since I've had it. The bag is practically empty. This also has that really, really nice pull down flappy thing. I've just let, released some dirt, hang on. Some dust. So when you use a vacuum to clean a vacuum, is that cannibalism? I don't know. Um, let's pop the bag back in. There we go. So yeah, the other thing as well is if, uh, if I'm cleaning a vacuum cleaner, does that make me a vacuum cleaner? Who knows? Okay, so what we're gonna do very quickly is get this pretty little thing on the floor. This has a bag full indicator light, height adjustment, and like I said, it is brand new in box. I've hardly used it. So let's get it on the floor and let's see how it copes with the fur from Gilligan. So I have you guys positioned uh, on the workbench looking down onto the floor at all the fur. I haven't swept anything yesterday i kicked some stuff some around and trumpled it around and moved around so there's quite a lot of loose fur there's a lot of fur which is ingrowned into the carpet as well so what i'm going to do is give it one pass through the middle back and forth and let's have a look Now there's no soft start with this vacuum cleaner. It just goes straight into the power. So let's take you off the tripod. Excuse fingers. Oop, there we go. And let's take a look. Now I did notice, didn't seem to do as good as the other ones because it's left a trail of fur, as you can see, by those guards underneath. So if I turn the vacuum over, like so, so you will see it's got these guards on it, which actually hinder the vacuum cleaner, in my opinion, and hinder the pickup on it. These bristles are quite soft, actually, compared to some of the other ones. These are quite soft, but it does have the side bristles here because this is an early machine, so it has proper side bristles. 
Now, if I go to I'm trying to have a look and see if there's one that doesn't have. See, now that one's only got one guard there in the middle. That's a newer one. Uh, let's have a look at this, which is also an older one that we did the video on. See, that's got multiple guards on the bottom of it. And let's have a look at another newer one. And see, that's only got one guard on it. So I do prefer the machines with the only one guard because it does, in my opinion, hinder the pickup performance on it. Right, okay. Let's get you back on the tripod and we'll pick up the rest of the fur.
Okay, so that is all the fur picked up off the floor and it did a very good job. I did take it nice and slow and it's worked really fine, really well. Let's take a look underneath and see. Now I have noticed, oh no, there is, I thought it was a hole broken, but it isn't. It's just a design. Lower it down. And we can see there is some fur. Let me take you off the tripod. We have some fur attached in here, but this would be static. Uh, so I will give that a little brush up before I put it back. No fur stuck around the brush roll. That's in really good. Again, more sort of kind of like... Um, Static that the fur has stuck to. Let's lift it up. Let's take a look in the bag compartment. It's squished down to the bottom really well and it's just filled it up with no mess. Just a little cushion of doggy fur. Very, very good. These machines, even though they are a bit rubbishy made, the bagged ones, they're not that bad actually when you compare them to some of the rubbish you can get on the market these days. Um, at the time, these were thought to be kind of being really bad, but it's only afterwards that you actually see that mm, they're not as bad compared to the ones that you get now. So let's put you back on the tripod. Let's sort out the fur that it's got stuck to it. Pull out. The hose. Catch a dusting brush. And let's use itself to clean itself. I just turned it off. Hang on, turn it back on. Oh, there we go. It has just cleaned itself. Um, that wouldn't be called cannibalism if you eat yourself. I don't know what that would be called. Sad. Uh, let's put the lovely hose back into position. And the wand. And the tool. And there we go. Right, let's get it back on the bench. So there we go, just another quick video again for you guys today on picking up the doggy fur from the lovely Gilligan this time. That means that they've all had their haircuts and they are ready to go and stay with my mum while we're in Australia. We have, she asked if, um, if she could look after the dogs because uh, my dad loves the dogs. Uh, my sister's dog, she's got a little Jack Russell. Uh, they look after her every day when uh, my sister and brother-in-law are at work. So she asked if she could have Gilligan and Zach to look after while we're in Australia. And normally we leave them up with friends of ours who've got a farm near Boston. And they got dogs as well and uh, they've been there loads and loads of times and they absolutely love being up the farm and spending time with Woody, the border, border terrier. 
Um, but my mum asked, so what we're going to be doing is, it's normally we just take them up to Boston and come home and that's it. But because obviously they live in Swansea, we are going to be driving down to Swansea on the Saturday, staying there overnight, coming back next Sunday. Then we've got a week and then we go to Australia on the Saturday for three weeks and then we fly in to Heathrow, flying into Heathrow, staying at the hotel in Heathrow that night we arrive because we'll be arriving in the morning, but we're going to be staying in the hotel overnight because of jet lag. Then the next day we drive to Swansea, check into the next Premier Inn and uh, uh, pick up the dogs then when we go home the next day. Um, okay, so we get to Swansea, check in, blah, 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 go see the dogs, blah, stay overnight. And then the following day, then drive home with the dogs and all our luggage from Australia and the vacation, the holiday is over and done with. So I've completely gone off on a tangent now because we were starting off with this. So yes, this has done a really, really good job. Gilligan's fur is lovely and soft. Um, I Again, I didn't shower um, the three of them before I gave their hair a good clipping because um, I wanted it to be... When their hair, once if they've had a shower before they have their hair cut, it makes their fur very, very, very soft. And of course we use conditioner on them and shampoo and they spot rotten. Then um, their fur doesn't really stick to the carpet very well. It gets a bit kind of just like floaty, but I really wanted to grind it in a bit. So if I didn't shower them, then obviously their hair is a little bit more greasier. And that seems to work a bit more better in these demonstrations. So yes, I really do like this machine. It's immaculate because it was brand new in the box and I look after it. I will do a house demo with it. I haven't done a house demo yet. But as the winter months are now approaching, there will be less videos inside, the, inside here. And there'll be more inside videos with gadgets and also with um, house demos as well. Because <coughs> I got so many machines um, that I haven't done house videos on yet. So um, over the winter time I'll be cracking on with them. So there we go. This is this wonderful stair clean in total filtration. Early 1200 watt power power. In a lovely fetching green. With a black attachment motif going on there. Very, very smart. I do like it. And... There we go, done. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please comment, like, and subscribe below for more videos. In the video description, there's also a link to my Amazon wish list. If you feel that you would like to give a gift to the channel, to myself, please take a look at it, and uh, all gifts will be appreciated very, very much. And I'll also give you a mention as well in an upcoming video or a vlog, um, only if you want to, that is. So thank you very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.